Once again, I must deviate from my original plan. I have given you the word to repel the darkness, but Miriam told me I must give you the origins of this darkness. Most of us walk through this material existence self-willed and guided by our own selfish wants and aspirations. By making this conscious decision, we choose to walk unprotected. This is because man or woman self-willed, guided by his or her own desires, is walking into darkness or negation of this material existence outside the will of the Infinite One. By making this decision, consciously or unconsciously, you are now under the influence of the fallen archons of the lower heavens. You're at the mercy of the one seen and unseen, and most of the time you're unaware. Even the most righteous and the very elect of us all battle with the dark brothers day and night. So what say you, the non-believers and so self-willed in all your material aspirations? A vessel empty of spirit leaves the greatest opportunity and opening for the most grotesque kind of spirit to enter. When the fallen had been removed from the higher heavens into the star systems of the lower fourth, they were not given bodies, but they will make do with yours. Emerald Tablets, Tablet 6, banded together in an order, brothers of darkness. Silently and secretly use they their power, enslaving and binding the souls of men. Dark is the way of the dark brothers travel, traveling over the earth, walk through man's dreams. Into man's mind space reach the dark brothers, around it they close the veil of their night. Through its lifetime that soul dwells in bondage. Now to counteract the acts of the fallen, the arts is given to the righteous, because the arts is the glory, it is your strength. What is the meaning of arts? Arts, a skill acquired by experience, study, or observation, an occupation requiring knowledge or skill. The arts is the combination of knowledge and wisdom, wisdom also known as Sophia. This wisdom and knowledge comes from experience, study, observation, the Holy Spirit via the Akashic Records. Psalms 89 and 17, for thou art the glory of their strength. The art is the glory of your strength. It is where your true power lies. Focus on the word art. The font is different from the other words because it has a deeper meaning. It's esoteric. It is in code. The arts is given to the seekers of wisdom and knowledge, revealing things that have been closed or limited to us in a past time. As Daniel was instructed to seal the book and not reveal any more until the time had come. Daniel 12 and 24, but thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. So those of you who think you've been given the fullness and are not open to new understanding, you err. You are making the greatest mistake you'll ever make, because this is the last days, not the end of the world, but the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one, a time of harmony, a time of rest. Aren't you tired? Don't you want to rest? The arts, revelations coming through the acquiring of wisdom and knowledge, through study, experience, observation, which in turn connects the individual to the Holy Spirit, the Shekinah, and the Akashic Records. It is the power and the strength of all those who choose to walk in the path of light. Love the Father, loving your neighbor as you love yourself, doing the will of charity, truth, and mercy. The art is your strength, your protection, your shield, while you navigate through the valley. On your journey to return to a place of consciousness where we once were in the first creation, the perfect similitude, the image of the Most High, the Adam Cadman. Ye are gods, children of the Most High, and it is written into law. John 10 and 34, is it not written in your law, I said, ye are gods? So to become this image, this similitude or reflection, and also to achieve the physical eternal body, you must move from the mental and spiritual code of limitation 666. You are to move from 666 to 777, 888, and eventually 999 when you become the number of an orphanim, an angel. The only way to breach that veil of limitation is through wisdom and knowledge. Wisdom symbolized by the name Sophia. Wisdom and knowledge of spiritual things, comparing spiritual things only to spiritual things. So before you can ascend to the hills and the mountains where the Father reside, everyone must first walk through the valleys. 1 Kings 20 and 28. The Lord is God of the hills. He is not a God of the valleys. You will have to conquer the valleys to get to the mountains. Psalms 23 and 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art is with me. You must walk through the valley. Notice again, the word art is in italic, different from the rest of the font. There is something important. It is coded. What is the valley? The word manas in Sanskrit means mind. Kama 
in Sanskrit means the lower desire. The valley is a symbol of kama manas, which on a micro level represents the lower mind in the individual, and on a macro level, the lower dimensions in our universe, the place where darkness reigns. Celestially, it represents the fourth dimension and below, the only place where negation and darkness is allowed to thrive. It is where the archons of the fallen occupy. And from this same dimension, through energy or by its own servants, influence both realities, seen and unseen. But where exactly do they rule from? In scripture, the above is called behemoth, the lower fourth dimension, star system Ursa Major and Ursa Minor, Mizar and Megrez to be specific. And the below is called Leviathan, here in the third dimension. The above fourth dimension in scripture is symbolized by hills and sometimes mountains. And the below, the third dimension, is symbolized as valleys.